All right, um, Morgan, I, I'm helping Neil out with this investigation uh, concerning his identity theft uh, your ad complaint. Your, your identification is what, sir? His identity theft investigation. Your, inve your identification is what, sir? Your name is what? Oh, my name is Greg Miller. I'm a victim's advocate of the Police Complaint Center, and I'm helping Neil with his complaint. That's what I want Yeah. And I want to direct your attention to an investigator by the name of Baker. Yes. Do you have you um, encountered? Do you, do you know this person that we're talking I've about? I've met him. I've watched him interview Mr. Crity, mm -hmm. Mr. Crity's residence. So no, that was at his office. Baker's was uh, in Louisa, uh, Virginia. Okay. Do you feel that Baker wanted to do a proper investigation for him, or I got the impression that when Mr. Baker spoke with us that he was sincere, that he had an interest in the investigation, and that he was going to take positive action. Okay, and then what happened? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, do you feel, based on your past experience, that that was an appropriate action for him to take? Well, yes, I think he needed to open up an investigation or to, to at least look at all the facts in mm -hmm. the thing. I have never seen or spoken to him since that date. Okay, and do you know uh, Scott Woody, who's an investigator? Yes, uh, okay. he's with Hanover County Sheriff Department. Okay, and can you elaborate what role did he play in this this overall situation? Well, Mr. Crady was not satisfied with the attention that he was not getting, mm -hmm. and he went to the Hanover County Sheriff Department to request similar action. Okay. And he and Mr. Woody came out to his residence on Woodson Mill Road and uh, spoke with him there. I was uh, present during the interview. I was present during both of the interviews, heard both sides of the conversation, and I felt uh, at that time, the same as I did the first time, that there would be some action taken or there would be at least a, an inquiry into the facts that were germane to the case. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what was the result of that inquiry? I would not know. I've never seen him or spoken to him since, either one of them. I've had seen no further action on the part of any investigative agency or person. Okay. And based on your experience in the past, do you feel that this was even proper? That they, do they feel that they should I have investigated? I don't know at this point, uh, sir, whether or not... He went back, did a complete background investigation. I don't know what action he took. I don't know whether or not he was told to stop the investigation. I have no information. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate talking with you. Is, is there anything else relevant that you want to be known about this overall situation? No, we've lived with this situation for a long time. It needs that we need a closure with it either one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. A man could not go on and keep living like this. This is understandable. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. It's and been extremely stressful on him over that period of time. I've known him for years, <laughs> and I know when he's under stress and when he's catching fish like I like. Understandable. Okay, thank you very much for your time.